welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing a video on how we can use snowflake python connector to bring in data into our snowflake data warehouse so as we all know snowflake is a powerful cloud data platform which actually allow us to store and analyze massive amounts of data with ease so now we also know like we can use python as well to connect into our data warehouse so i'm going to show you simple steps on how you can go about that by bringing in your data into snowflake so the first thing we're going to do is the installation so the next one is the connection and bringing in the data to show you how we can do the installation so what we need to do is to come back to their documentation then we need to locate um that's for python so just go to the installing parts then you come over here so you're going to copy this so you come back into jupyter notebook then you paste so when you do that you're going to so just run it i have that installed on my machine already so also we are going to install one more thing so we'll go back to the documentation so just like we located the snowflake python so you also locate for pandas data frame so you must ensure you can see the requirements ensure you're reading the requirements so before you go about the installation ensure you have all these on your machine because you actually need pi arrow also before you can install this pandas data frame so for you to install pi arrow just right click then come over here so just click on installing pi arrow so to install with pip so just copy what you have here then you use that to install pi arrow so you can then go back to install the snowflake python connector with pandas so just come here again then you paste then you install so i have this installed on my machine so i'm not going to be doing that again so that is what you need for the installation part also if you go back to the documentation there are some more other details you must ensure like you follow because if you go back to the python part if you look at the requirements ensure you are using python 3.7 and above so anything lower than that it might give you an error so ensure you check the prerequisite before you come back to installing um, import those libraries that we just installed so let's run this so we've imported that so let's bring in the data we want to push to a snowflake so let's bring it in so this is what my data looks like this is the data i want to bring into snowflake so this is what it looks like so we're going to make use of the python connector to um push our data to snowflake so what we're going to use is actually these right pandas so i'm going to show you how you can go about that so we're going to reference the connector and your password so i saved my username uh, in a credential file so i'm going to bring that in so here i'm going to make use of the username So this is how you're going to initiate your connection so you put in the username password you can see i've referenced my username and my password so this account i haven't put that so i want to show you how you can locate your account so here we reference the warehouse which is compute um, bh then the database we want to use which we already created on our interface so also the public then the account admin which is the role so i'm going to show you how you can get this each of these informations from your snowflake account so now you're going to come over to your snowflake account then you go over to so the first thing we need to locate is the let me show you so let's locate a warehouse database schema and role so let's do warehouse database schema and role so let's do that i'll show you how you can do that so just come over here
this is my database so i already created my database over here so you can also create your database so to locate the um that's the role so for you to locate the current role you're making use of this is the account admin so just like you see over here so this is the account admin so you can see the warehouse we're making use of so this is the warehouse so let's go back and see other informations we use so you can see the warehouse database um then the schema so the schema which we are making use of is public so we're going to indicate that because that's what we want to use so that's public also for the role that's account admin which i just mentioned earlier so that's how um those information were placed so in case you want to create like a new database you can go about that then you put in the correct information so your username and password is your actual login username and password so now let's look at how we can get the account name so this is how you can do that so you're going to come over here to the admin tab so while at the admin um, tab you look at the accounts you click on the accounts then while you're here you're going to click so while you're here you're going to click and just copy this link so let me paste that in my notes part so what i need from there is going to be um, the information in between here so that's what i need so just copy this information so you don't need the dot snowflake computing.com that so that's what you're going to place here so let's paste it so and then let's run it so now we're going to initiate a connection by saying connection.cursor all the informations we have from our data columns so which is the uh, in video data dot columns so we're going to use this information in creating our table execute then you put the create table command this is the name of the table then these are the column so i've defined the data type you can see the customer id um the customer name and the order so they are my values which are making use of so we're going to use that to create our table so let's run that so you can see it's telling us that means it has been created successfully so now we've done that so the next thing we need to do is to load our data into this empty table that we've created so we put in the connection next thing is you're going to reference the data then you put the table where you want to load the data so which is the customer so let's run it so this is telling us like our table has been pushed to snowflake successfully of which we can confirm from our accounts so here you can see the table that i just pushed in everything is there so um also again we can also just like we pushed in this data to snowflake so we can also retrieve a data from snowflake directly let's say you want to analyze your data then you don't want to go through the process of using any other method so let's say you want to use the python connector to connect then load your data to analyze so you can do that by using this same snowflake connector so i'm going to show you how you can go about that execute so after we've done that we can put it in a data frame just like what we, the way we had it so let's do df pd the data frame programming error let's see why this is giving us an error 
So he's saying customers does not exist or not authorized. So let's see the reason for this error. This is the same customers we used. So, oh, I think I get why this is giving us errors. It's actually because um, most of the database you create, sorry, the tables you create, they're usually in capital letters. So assuming this is in capital letters, it's not going to give us any error. So how we can prevent that is just wrap a quote around it. Shouldn't give us any error. Yeah, so let's check our data. So from our results, you can see we have all the data that we just brought in. So, and again, from the results, we can see this does not have the actual headers which we add. So we can solve that by bringing in the discursor, which is from same Snowflake connector. So let me import the library now introduce the dict cursor from the snowflake connector we did earlier so just put comma in dict cursor so it's very important so also you introduce this um connection dot cursor because we have to put this dict cursor that we imported we have to place it inside just like what we did here so ensure the dict cursor is there so then you execute your sql command so let's run it once again So let's print so we can see the results. So I feel this is the appropriate way. Ensure you bring in the dates cursor. So when trying to retrieve your data from the Snowflake platform. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you in showing you how you can load your data into the Snowflake data warehouse. Every information that I mentioned and all links will be attached to the description of this video. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you can catch up with any new video I make on Snowflake. Thanks for watching. I would love to see you next time.